In this video, we explain the DB Unload utility. It provides various database services to include unloading data to a file, scrubbing data flagged for reorg, and managing the transport case. We're going to consider each of these scenarios. We'll look at the INI file, which contains settings that we should be aware of. We'll also consider the various options and different possibilities associated with batch mode. We'll explain the utility's user interface because administrators should at the very least be aware of its existence. Relying on the UI is not something we recommend. The batch mode is much more powerful and flexible, but at least you'll know how to start it and what it does. The UC BDB UN utility provides general data extraction and removal services, together referred to as unloading. DB Unload performs certain tasks to address a variety of needs. You can output parts of the database or the entire instance to a file. That file can then be used by DB Load to recreate an instance. You can also physically remove all the data flagged by the DB Reorg and DB Archive utilities. DB Reorg needs to be scheduled and automated by administrators as part of maintenance procedures. But the utility does not remove records, it merely flags them. DB Unload is executed subsequently to scrub those records. As such, DB Reorg and DB Unload should be scheduled together as part of the maintenance routines. DB Unload is also used to manage data we want to export via transfer functions and the transport case. The utility has a user interface. It lists the tables that can be unloaded and the unload functions. You shouldn't dwell on the UI because invariably, batch mode will quickly become the predominant mode of use. DB Unload has an INI configuration file which requires a few things. We're going to take a look at those. Finally, DB Unload is generally used in batch mode. That means executing it as a command that you can incorporate in a job, schedule, and automate. This is the main use of the utility, and we're going to show you how it works. The INI file has two important settings. The first is the output setting in the global section. This is the default file path and name of the file generated by the unloading procedure. The second is the no archive check setting, which we also find in DB Reorg. We recommend setting this to 1 as soon as DB Unload is installed or it may not work. We have to explain how DB Unload works in batch mode. There's several use cases and we'll start with data exports. Depending on use, DB Unload calls for certain options and extensions. We can unload parts of the database or even the entire thing. This generates a file which you can upload elsewhere to recreate an environment. The default name of the file is uc underscore data dot txt, which you recognize from the initial install package we use with db loads. Some options are optional. Dash v prints the version of the application. Dash i points to the ini file, which you can skip if the file is in the same directory as the utility. Finally, dash l sets the language, which otherwise defaults to English. Then we have the dash b option for batch modes. This is a constant for every task and it's required. Dash B carries a variety of extensions depending on uses. Normal unloads the entire database to a file. This can be used with dbload to recreate an instance. Initial unloads the initial infrastructure data from client 0. You won't have the design or operational data from the ops clients, it's just the basic shell. Default does more or less the same, but it also includes basic operational data like the UC user. We have to mention something important. Dash B initial and Dash B defaults are never used in day-to-day -day operations. Their use is reserved for our teams for internal deployment requirements. DB Unload can fix issues related to a corrupt Explorer folder structure. All of these options apply system-wide only, they're not client-specific. Next we have the removal of records flagged with DB Reorg and DB Archive. When you execute a reorg, the utility does not physically remove records, it merely flags them for removal. DB Unloads performs that removal. You should set up a daily maintenance routine that includes DB Archive, DB Reorg, and DB Unload to retain data, optimize system performance, and prevent database saturation. First, there's the Dash B Reorg extension. When you execute this, the records are deleted. There may be situations where you don't want any data flagged. You can reset flags for both Reorg and Archive with Reset Reorg and Reset Archive. We do not recommend using these extensions system-wide. Using the Dash C option to perform maintenance on a client-by-client -client basis just plain works better. Transport case use applies system-wide and can also be client-specific. There's two Dash B extensions. In the first scenario, we've placed objects in the transport case in AWI. 
we use the transport extension to output the transport case to a file for import in another client or system. The other extension is transport all and it works differently. Transport all places the entire environment of the client or system in the transport case. Dash D can be used in conjunction with the transport extension to delete the contents of the transport case after execution. We use dash C to specify the clients. Without it, dbunload executes for the entire system. Finally, we use dash X to specify the path and name of the transport case file. We have some recommendations. First, you should always schedule a maintenance routine on a daily basis, and it should be done on a client basis. We've already mentioned this. You should run maintenance for client zero. Not doing so can cause serious problems. Finally, do not forget to set no archive check to one in the INI files of db reorg and db unloads.